Hello everybody. Uh, in this screencast, we're going to look at how can a fragment communicate with the activity. So as we know, the fragment is hosted inside an activity, right, as part of the activity. Now, how can the fragment talk to the activity? Now, if you look at the fragment uh, code, you will see that we looked at on create, on create view, on view created. There is a, there is a method called on attach. And that's called when the fragment is attached, when the fragment is attached to the activity, when it, when it is, when it latches on to the activity. Okay, that's because the fragment lives inside the activity. This method is called when this attachment is created. Okay, and you see here it gives you the context. This context represents the context, and that context is your activity. So this context variable is the activity. So what we usually do is that if a fragment wants to talk to the, to an activity. Um, we do that through an interface and I'll show you how to do that right? now you define the interface so basically what we're going to do is that we define the interface in the fragment and then the activity needs to implement the interface so here we implement the in interface okay so let's see how we're going to do that this is boilerplate code. You always have to do that if a fragment wants to talk to an activity. So we define an interface, public an interface. And we the naming is very important because sometimes you have a lot of fragments and then each one of them has an interface. So that's the naming scheme I'm going to recommend here. It's the home listener, right? You can call it home fragment listener and so on. Now here inside the interface, you define the methods. What do you want to tell the activity? So let's say void. This activity, this fragment, for example, has some text that the user enters here. Let's say I want to send the username to the activity. Void send username. String username. So I'm going to send the activity the username. Now, after you define the interface here, you need to create a reference for the interface. We call it M listener. This is the reference to it and what we're going to do is we're going to do this m listener equals home listener and context so basically what is what it is saying is that i am expecting the context that comes in which is the activity to implement that interface that's why i could cast the the context to the home listener now the main activity needs to implement the interface implements home listener right so we go here click here implement the methods and send username and so on okay let's look back at what we have what we're going to do is this is that we define the interface in the fragment we in on attach we get access to the activity right so that's the context which is the activity and then we say m listener which is our the instance of what implements the interface which is the context we cast it to a home listener we get the m list now after you do that, what you could do is I could do this m listener dot send username and here is the name that I retrieved. So I, this I'm going to remove this toast. So basically, when the user clicks the submit, it comes here. We retrieve whatever the user has entered and we send that to the activity. OK, now if you look at the activity, the activity implemented a method called send username. I'll just log it, log D and I'm going to say username. So now when you look at the log, Let's see if we're able to communicate. So now if I run this app, here it is. We are here. Let's remove this. Now when I type in something here and say hello, okay, I click submit. And you can see here submit is coming in from here. So that whatever you entered is showing up in the activity. So let me backtrack a little bit. So the fragment defines the interface, right? The fragment actually defines the interface. And um, in that interface, it defines what kind of messages it needs to send the activity. So you can have multiple here, right? For example, uh, or I could say, for example, uh, void go to um, uh, settings, right? You could say that go to settings, right? And then it's not happy because now the main activity needs to also implement the that method. Because you see, the main activity is claiming that it implements that interface, and that interface is two methods. And so basically, in the fragment, you define the uh, how are you going to communicate with the activity. 
and then this is how you get access to the listener you know which is the implementation of the interface and this is how you use it listener dot and that listener only has a set of methods a couple of methods whatever you define here is whatever is going to show up uh, when you try to use the listener so please let me know if you have any questions